I'm Marcus Blake with uh, That Nerd Show, and we're talking with Emily Carmichael, who's a juror here at the festival and is in the upcoming Pacific Rim 2. Uh, well, <laughs> apart, apart. What's your favorite scene? Hey, th they can still do some reshoots. Let's let's lobby for that right now. Give away the give away the yeah. So welcome to Dallas, and is this the first time you've ever been involved in being a juror at a film festival? Staring into the mirror, and I just thought it was impossible. I was first one with KFI and I judged short. So, okay. So, uh, you feel like uh, after you've done that first experience, you're starting. It's a little bit easier now. You know, both times look, judging you know, the festival was uh, easier than I thought. Yeah, incredible. Um, the uh, jury really I mean, that can be said for everybody. on a small number of people. Like, and we were also like pretty responsive and flexible and open to surprise. So, in both cases, I was a little worried that it, we would have a tough uh, job. Yeah, but in both cases, it like really worked out pretty great. And I think we feel really great about our films we chose, and we're very excited. Right. Yeah. Now, are, are you, you got some favorites from this festival? Yeah, well, I personally, I was um, so uh, blown over by Renee Felice Smith's debut film, Relation Trip, which I thought was wonderful. Um, I mean, we saw a lot of great movies. I thought Heart, Heartstone is a great movie, which is, I think, that's Icelandic. Um, so that's just speaking personally about movies that I love. I was, like, blown apart by Olivia Cook's performance in uh, Katie Says Goodbye. Um, there's also, like, an incredible incredibly brutal thriller called um, the Berlin Syndrome that just like had us like at the edges of our seats and also like and weeping inside our souls. Um, but it all works out in the end, so you know, it's spoiler alert. Alright, so I do, I do have to ask since you're a rider on Pacific Rim 2 and being the nerds that we are, we love these kinds. Is there anything you can tell us or is this like Star Wars secret? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So for a long time I would be like there is absolutely nothing that I can say about this movie. But I realized that I can talk about Jaeger names because many, I think a couple of my Jaeger names made it into the movie. I'm very proud of that. But I always wanted there to be, so like Jaeger names are like really intense. They're always like our Megaman apocalypse or like something crazy like that. I wanted there to be like a really normal like Borealis Jason. Just have there be a really plain name in there and I fought for it really hard. I thought it would be really cool. I thought there would be everyone's favorite Jaeger and uh, Steve and I just didn't go for it so I don't think you're going to see Borealis Jason in <laughs> Well, that's okay. Now, um, for fans of the first one, and since you, uh, you know, wrote this one, or one of the writers, are we going to like it? I think you're going to love it. I think okay. the movie's really cool. The director's wonderful. Steve Knight is a great guy. He made Spartacus, which I, I love. It's a really, like, really tender human show about gladiators beating crap out of each other. Um, exactly. Yeah, I think he's great. I think he's got a great right. So one last question before they rush you off, because we are that nerd show. We always have a nerdy question. If you could be a superhero or a villain, what would your superpower be and why? Oh, man, this is a tough one. I think I would go for something showy, like telekinetic or flight because I like to impress people. Okay. That's a good one. All right. Well, we can't wait to see uh, Pacific Rim 2.